Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, February 5th, 2020. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Well, we made it through half of the week. It's going to get pretty wet for the rest of the week and a bit icy too, especially tomorrow morning for locations north and west of New York City and Philadelphia. So let's dive into this forecast. Of course, before you do, please like, share, and subscribe and let your friends and family know where you get your favorite weather information from. And of course, I really appreciate all you subscribers out there. So let's take a look at what we have here. Well, a cold front is holding over the region. It's kind of stalled out, okay? And so we have this northerly wind lingering over the region around 5 to 10 miles per hour. It's cloudy. Scattered showers. Overall, they're pretty light. The heavy rainfall, though, is holding off a bit longer until we get to tonight into tomorrow and continuing on the rest of the week. Now, this whole pattern is driven by this frontal boundary here. Now, you have temperatures holding in the mid-30s to low 40s throughout the region, and pretty much the temperatures are going nowhere today as these waves of low pressure march through and overcast clouds continue with a passing shower here and there. This low pressure system will drag a lot of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, which we could see right here, and that's going to track right up into our neck of the woods the next two days, producing very heavy rainfall, easily one to three inches of rain expected, with some potential for some ice accumulation, a high threat for locations like the Poconos, the Hudson Highlands, the Catskills, the Hudson River Valley, and also much of interior Connecticut. The good news is that the cold air will give way, and then it will change over to rain by the time we get to the late morning tomorrow. But tomorrow morning's rush hour for the northern interior, basically these areas in zone 2 and 3, are going to be really dangerous, okay? So if you have plans to go out tomorrow morning in these areas, I would strongly suggest staying home, okay? Uh, schools, in my opinion, should either cancel or delay. I mean, it's not like we've had a lot of snow days, so, you know, better to be safe than sorry. But easily, you're talking about a tenth to a quarter of an inch of, of ice accumulation in these areas. And so we're watching that very carefully. Tomorrow morning, it's just going to be a rough period for travel in those locations. Now, as you head down towards the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan areas, we're pretty much dealing with rain, but a lot of it. And so there's going to be the potential here for some flash flooding. Now, in zones 2 and 3, there's also a mention of snow, especially in zone 3, a trace of 2 inches. That pretty much is going to be coming in on Friday afternoon as our storm pulls away, and we get one last shot of snowfall as cold air races into the region. Going with a trace of 2 inches because those boundary layer temperatures are still going to be warm. So it's going to be hard to accumulate on many surfaces. So it'll snow in the air, but not much is actually going to stick on the ground, in my opinion. So let's dive into this forecast. Now, for today, cloudy, isolated showers here and there. Some of those showers will be capable of a brief heavy downpour. Temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much, with highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s, mid 40s down towards Atlantic City. For tonight, that rain starts to invade, and watch out for that ice in the interior. Temperatures tomorrow morning will fall into the upper 20s to lower 30s over the interior and mid 30s to lower 40s along the coast. Now, as you move towards the New York City metropolitan area, more likely to be in the mid to upper 30s, down towards Atlantic City, more like the lower to mid 40s. But the overall theme here, coast is rain, interior ice. By the time we get to the afternoon hours, everyone's above freezing with periods of heavy rain. Look for temperatures to rise into the mid-40s over the interior, upper 40s to mid-50s along the coast. On Friday, that rain continues as our low-pressure system lifts through. Again, watch out for the back end of this storm in the afternoon as temperatures start to fall and precipitation changes over to snow for the Poconos, supporting that snowfall potential, and also the Catskills as well. Temperatures on Friday will range from the mid to upper 40s for lows and mid 50s to lower 60s for highs. Now again, by the time we get to the afternoon hours, those high temperatures will be long gone and you'll see temperatures crash through the 40s and 30s, supporting that potential for a little bit of snow accumulation for higher elevations. On Saturday, 
Sky cloud cover is expected with lows in the upper 20s, highs in the mid to upper 30s. On Sunday, a weak low pressure system will pass through with some sky rain and snow showers. Look for lows in the upper 20s, highs in the mid 40s. On Monday, sky cloud cover is expected with lows in the mid 30s, highs in the upper 40s to mid 50s. On Tuesday, a cold front will stall over the region and then rebound on Wednesday. It's going to lead to scattered showers throughout the region on both days with lows in the mid 30s to lower 40s and highs in the mid to upper 40s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. And as always, stay safe out there.